All right, after some sleep, we are up and doing our post New Year's, uh, what would we call this, guys? Post New Year's clean out of the hotel, hotel party. room. Post hotel party. Post hotel party. And as we're packing up, we realized in our day and a half here, CJ, what did you realize of the uh, room? We bought a lot of bull. <laughs> We were already tight in the car coming up here with the expectation that some of the items would be consumed and then not take up space. That didn't work out. We kind of replaced the consumed items with new unconsumed items, so. To be consumed soon. To be consumed at the cabin. But we are getting ready to hop in the car and do a little tour of Nashville, just driving around looking at stuff. We already have the word that the cabin is available, so. We can mosey there whenever. We'll get back with you as soon as we get on the road. Perfect. All right, we are packed right. up in the car, ready to go. And guess what CJ got? I didn't get anything, the valet got a parking ticket. <laughs> yes, the valet. Uh, yeah, we walked up and uh, we had a parking ticket for valet parking from the lovely police and parking Metro patrol police. of Nashville. But luckily, we just gave it to the valet. They said they'll take care of it since it's 100% valet parking. So onward and upward. Well, no visit to Nashville is complete without a visit to the Grand Old Opera. Yep, country music folks, this is the end all of end alls for performances. Still decorated here pretty nicely for Christmas. Christmas lights everywhere. Definitely a nice courtyard area, lots of seats. And nothing would be complete without a souvenir shop. Christine, you have to turn over your credit card to me before you walk inside. <laughs> See, this is open daily, even if there's not an official show going on. So I wonder folks, let's see, I'm not a big country person. Oh, I gotta see this, please. But. Please you look so good. What do you think, Fred? It works. Does it work for me? It really does. Does it? I would have never pegged you, but you look so good. The flannel, I think, does it too. It <laughs> really helps. I think the flannel helps. Mel would probably go insane if I walk out with this. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how many times you're going to see me with the cowboy hat, but. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. <laughs> well, Christine found a pink one. Now that is it. Now the Grand Old Opry does have daily pools and they run from 40 bucks to 100 bucks depending on what type of floor you're looking at doing. This was just a drive-by, so we're not actually going to go inside. But again, there are daily tours that you can take. Well, we have our first casualty of this road trip, and that is we discovered a screw in our tire. So, yay! But it is in the tread. We're not getting a lower tire pressure warning right now, so onward and upward. 
hopefully we'll be good because it is the first not a lot of stuff's going to be open and uh we'll, we'll figure it out all right so we're back at you here we're in downtown watertown and for the record six hundred dollars for the tires one was dead the other one on the front the radial was almost poking through so that was an unexpected expense but better that we were able to get it fixed while we're not on the highway so anyway we have stopped now after getting the car fixed in downtown watertown take a little look Nice little town center, barbershop, old inch insurance and local art. Nice little uh, setup. And there is this uh, local coffee shop we were talking about earlier, but I have this strange feeling that it is not open because it looked like Christine had walked over to it. It appeared the doors were locked, so. Since it is local owned, it might still be shut down for the holidays. Or it's only open super early in the morning. And actually, it should be open according to this. Live edge tables got their little smoke shop what's interesting as well as you can definitely tell this is a small town because a lot of the shops are all closed up for the holidays Just what I need, insurance and local art. So while you're getting your home insurance, you can buy some artwork. Old school library. A little fitness center. I'm scared. The creek that we're crossing to get to our cabin over a one-lane bridge. We are pulling into our Airbnb. There it is, there it is right there. Deliveries. Nope, there it is up there. Here we are in our Airbnb cabin. Fizel's Country Cottage. So the first thing we noticed is a very nice balcony, or I should say porch, that's wrapped around. You've got a little porch swing. There's a small swing as well for kids. Still decorated up for Christmas time. They've got lots of bird houses spread around the area with feed. Nice open deck out this way with a fire pit right here and a hot tub. Lots of windows. Oh, I see the hot tub. It's going to be nice. <laughs> On the back here, it does come with a grill for us. Some cornhole. They've already got some wood prepped and stacked here. If you do have kids, they do have a little slide. as well as a rope ladder to climb back up. A little fenced area. All right, 
here is our interior. Very nice setup here. A lot of exposed wood. Got couches, a lot of plug-in spots for phone chargers. There's also an interior fireplace as well as the exterior fire pits. Let's take a walk down this hall. This leads us back to one of the areas. Here's the washer and dryer. And then we have one of the bedrooms in here. And then the master bathroom area. His and her sinks. So you can see here there are two entrances for the master bedroom area that leads you out to the front deck. Got a half bath here. And then you have a walk upstairs to the loft area and another bedroom. The one thing Mel can kick my butt in is coming up on our left. I know she's going to take advantage of it. Got a pool table. Looks like a elliptical machine in the back. And that's a pull-out sofa. Up to two people there. Again, it looks like they have a uh, gaming system up here as well. A couple of Apple TVs, it looks like. And then you've got the hallway bath. Looks like there's another crew egg up here. As well as, again, another bathroom area. And then the second bedroom in this area. As well as some closet space. It looks like there's a lot of kids' toys in these closets. Oh yeah. And then the view out this area again for the birdhouses as well as some of the surrounding countryside. We'll take a walk on the grounds here in a little bit, but you can see through the trees here there's another porch swing out there with a couple of other chairs around a fire pit that's out there in the land, so to say. And let's take a look at this view from the top of the loft. Lots of windows. Well, that brings this episode to an end. Next week, we're going to have fun looking at what we did at the cabin. It's going to include drone footage, a hike on the property, and lots of nighttime campfires. So make sure you hit that like, notify, and subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, and it really does help the channel out. We'll see you next time on the Scenic Route.